For most GW students, studying looks like this, not like this. But for the students in the School of Engineering and Applied Science, studying takes many forms and many hours. So much so that the GW engineering students often stay largely under the radar. As it turns out, most GW students can't even place engineers on the campus map. Do you know where the engineering building is? No, I do not. Um, I think, is it like, I don't know. The engineer school building? No, I thought this was Ivory Towers. So if most GW students don't even know where the engineers spend their time, what do they know about how engineers spend their time? Play video games, <laughs> build things, I don't know. Work on computers and stuff, I don't know. I know they get free printing. They seem to work a lot and they seem to be in the library all the time. I don't know if I've ever seen any out. I don't know if they have a social life. <laughs> so is the life of an engineering student really all work and no play? We set out to uncover the secret life of engineers. First on our agenda, where do they live? Turns out it's Tompkins Hall, and it's right in the middle of campus, on 23rd Street between G and H. Once we found out exactly where it was, we headed over to observe the engineers in their native habitat. Before we even got to the front door, we spotted some engineers celebrating National Engineering Week with a remote-controlled car race. We were amazed that they had time to spare on leisure after hearing just how much is expected of them in class. <laughs> Professor Rice Price Jones teaches data structures and algorithms. I'd easily expect um, oh, 10 hours or more on, the, on a course. That's per week for just one class. So does that mean that engineers are total nerds? Some are nerds and don't mix, and others are, oh, they take, you know, they take their place on the um, student councils and all the societies and all the uh, licit and illicit activity that goes on in normal student life. Without owning up to any illicit activity, most engineers admit they do a pretty good job of balancing their intense workload with a healthy social life. Kelly Zay studies systems engineering. We have, we have a pretty healthy social life. We're all sort of loud and crazy and um, friendly and outgoing. Matt Gaviorno is a senior engineer. You'll find engineers at the bars, you'll find engineers at parties, there's plenty of engineers and frats. With the amount of time engineers spend working and studying together, it's no surprise that they get to know each other pretty well. Sybil Antony is a biomedical engineer. Yeah, you're literally, it, it feels like you're together most of the time. I mean, I, some people, will, I mean, kind of, you would think that you would get sick of each other. Um, it's usually like, we'll like study for a few times or after, right after an exam, we'll go and just, you know, go out to dinner and have, you know, just chill out and relax. So. One of the hardest working groups of students on campus, GW engineers are sometimes difficult to spot, but tonight they're out in full force at the Reagan Center for the annual engineer ball. Don't let the disco lights, fancy dresses, and loud music fool you. This is still the same group of students whose homework would give most of us a headache. But tonight, it's less about the log and all about the rhythm. This dance is just one chance for the engineers to relax and take a break from the difficult class load. And so far tonight, there's been no signs of studying. For The Source, this is Jessica Kamish reporting.